Well, over the years, uh, relationships change. Uh, men have less performance uh, because he has to use a condom, you know, uh, psychologically. Uh, you know, um, when I first heard about AIDS, I thought it was a homosexual thing. You know, and, uh, and then as the years went by, you know, uh, my father came down with the uh, with the illness, and I was kind of young when I found when when I found out that he had it, and um, that kind of cured my phobia of of AIDS, and made me a little bit more aware of the partners and the different things that uh that I, I was doing with my my body and um I don't know me, me myself it, it made me more faithful more true more honest and um and more aware because uh to me using a condom on a woman is to me it's like being in a submarine. You're not actually in the water. <laughs> so you, it, it's, it's unnatural to me. So I don't want to fool myself and uh, try to, you know, perform and, and put that much on seriousness on sex at my age anyway. You know, because I, I know sex to me is more for procreation rather than recreation. And, um, I don't know. It, me myself, I don't. I, you know, I, I got all the information I need about AIDS. It's the young people that need the information. You know, and not just on AIDS, but anything, many things in life, because parents are just growing wild seeds now. No, no more teaching as the day of old. You know, in my day, you know, we we we, we were more older people were more aware of where their kids were or what they were doing. Or even when they were doing things that they weren't supposed to do, they were doing it with information. They weren't ignorant. Kids now they 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 they're innocent. You know they actually really are innocent with the the gun packing and the syrup drinking and the the pr promiscuous uh, sex acts and all the different things they're doing. It's lack of teaching. That's what I blame it on. You know lack of knowledge, lack of education. You know, they're actually get uh, more geared to the streets than at home, you know. And they don't realize that home is shelter. In the streets is a marketplace. Anything can happen. Anything is sold, you know, including people, you know. Down on uh, International is more kids than adults after midnight, you know. And they're thinking it's the, the thing to do because... Parents have them thinking that it, life is glamorous. You know, it, it's, it's not easy. You know, anything easy, you know, it, 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 it dissipates, it disappears. It has no value. You know, but hard work. You know, uh, you know, use your brain and your mind for what it was created for. You know, if you believe in God and a higher power, then you realize that is your connection to Him. Everything now that is done on this earth today is mind-altering. And the reason why it's mind-altering is to break your connection from the true God. You know, He's the one who's our leader and our guider. Only if you listen. There's two sides to a man, mind. It's imagination and the spirit. We often find ourselves leaning toward imagination, believing because I thought of it, it must be true. No, you have to decipher. You have to, you, you, you have to try it within your mind before you react to it. Because everything that sounds good, look good, or feel good, sometimes it, it could be a trap. Sometimes it can be a blessing. But you have to be sure before you react to anything because it's concerning your life. Promiscuous sex, uh, sex without understanding, really, is death. You know, it's a it's a pleasure for only a moment. But look at the look at the value that you 
that you're selling your life for. You know, get an understanding on everything that you do. And that way, you would always come out ahead. Don't do nothing ignorant, unaware, or unexpected. Because, like I said, life is short. Before you know it, it's never too late. I ain't going to tell you it's too late. But it make it that much harder on you to accomplish what you serve, the purpose that you were created to serve. You know, distractions is only things that you that that comes within your sight. It's not insight. It's eyesight. Eyesight gets you in trouble if you don't pay attention to your insight. You know. Things on the outside of you is not uh, is not you. You are you. Pay attention to you. It's better to to think to, to pay attention to what you're telling yourself than for you to listen to me. I'm only p reminding you of what you only told yourself. Many times you tell yourself you're going to do the best thing for yourself, but you don't do it. Many times you tell yourself that. Uh, you know you're on the wrong track, you're going to get on the right track, but you don't do it. 